All right, I want to go over EVCE, EVCE installation. So we have the remote control, which has the push button panel in it, has the HCU in it. So inside on the back, you can see where all your connections go. This being a single lever with a power trim for a stern drive, only has one side, has the actual pins in it. The rest is just filled with silicone. So it only has one HCU in it. Depending on the design of the engine and the functionality that you have with it, depends on what remote control you get. So this one has trim assist, the station and throttle only, and cruise control. So that's the options for this. Other options have different buttons. You can see a couple are blank, depends on if you have a single or twin. So installation of this is very simple. There's a template. You put the template on the dashboard. You draw the template out. You fill in your holes, you take a hole saw, you cut this hole out as it says, you slide this insert through the dashboard, you attach the four screws or bolts, however you want to put it through the dashboard. You take your remote control, slip it through the control bracket, take your four bolts, drop your four bolts in there, right into the bracket. the cover on and it has clips on it and it has a space for you to pop it loose and snap that in and that's it it's installed so the connections on the back side are very easy you have your x2 data link so when i tilt this up i have my x2 data link now those connections right you can't see if it's installed. So really an installation poster comes into play here, okay? So you would have your two X2 data links, one for your port side, one for your starboard side, okay? Um, X2 data link goes on this connection, all right? You have your key switch right which is a molex connector that also has a lock on it so you want to lock that you then have your multi-link harness plug here in the center so the standard connections are on the bottom you have your key switch on the other side if you had a twin you'd have a six pin key switch there's a little adapter harness for that you have your X2 data links for your two engines. Your X8 steering is open just because this is a single HCU and then just leave it open even though it's non-functional on a single engine. Um, and in your center is your multi-link. So I have the three major ones plugged in. Now the multi-link would be on the back sides, you know, behind the dashboard someplace. Okay. And basically that multi-link is gonna be an adapter for a remote relay, that's where you would plug that in. You have your multi-link extension harness that would come from the HCU into it. And then I have a, an adapter here for my display. So all displays can be here, a NEMA interface can be here. There's a lot of options to this. Now introduced in EVCD was the AKI box, analog key interface. This box basically is a, uh, allows for you to use a standard key, no big deal. So you would usually have a standard key on other application, you know, non-EVC. So what they wanted to do was they wanted to make this a completely digital system and in EVCD, the E, the e key platform wasn't quite ready. So they launched this AKI. Now the AKI is still an option. So to keep the price down, and for people that want a standard key, you basically have a key switch on the back side. Your three wires come out of your key switch, okay? And they go around and they go up to and into the AKI. So the AKI receives voltage from the HCU it then sends the voltage out to the key switch. The key then sends voltage back if it's key on or crank. 
and those commands are then turned into digital messages. That's called LIN communications. So that communication highway then goes back to the HCU. So that's a digital message of key on or engine crank, or if you shut the key off, the message for key on goes away and the HCU then commands a stop command. And that command goes from the HCU to the PCU to the ECM, then the ECM shuts the relays off and that will shut the engine off on a gas product. We'll get into EVCE in a little bit. I wanted to go through the setup procedures for auto configuration and for calibration of controls, which is identical for EVCE or EVCD. So basically I have the battery switch on. I'm gonna do calibration after I do auto configuration. So in this system, what they've designed is they've designed a neutral button. So a neutral button is there. And in this particular application, it's called throttle only. On a side mount control, there is actually a neutral button on the side mount control. This will control two HCUs if you have twins. So when you do your calibration, you can do it simultaneously with both levers. So I'm simply gonna turn the key on, wait for the system to power up. Give it a couple seconds. And then the option is, what we want to do is we're going to make sure the shifter is in neutral, all right? And we're going to calibrate the controls. First, I want to do an auto configuration, remember. So if I've changed anything in the system or added it, I want to do a calibration, uh, auto configuration. So auto configuration starts in calibration mode. So it's real easy. Push and hold the throttle only button. About six seconds. Once it tones, then you will be able to see in the display as well, not real well here, but it says calibration, all right? So at that point now, what I wanna do is I wanna go through the calibration and the control system for you. So it starts in neutral. Your neutral light is blinking. Again, you only got about 45 seconds. So once we're in calibration, the neutral button flashes. I'm gonna go from my neutral detent to my four detent, push that throttle only button once. Over in your remote, it will say calibration 1.1. Then I go to full throttle, same thing we did in the other ones with a neutral button. Push your throttle only button one, two. Back to neutral, reverse, pass reverse, back to the detent, one, three. Full reverse, throttle only button, one, four. Back to neutral. And there's your tone that says, okay, I've seen those five steps. Do you want to finish or do you want to trim the drive up? So if I had a drive hooked up to this, then the drive would, I could push the trim up button and it would say, set your drive points, okay? So I push it again and it comes out of calibration mode. So you can see it's done. To do auto configuration, then what we're gonna do is go into the neutral detent again, because everything needs to start neutral. Push and hold that throttle only button for about six seconds. It says calibration 1.0 and push and hold the throttle only button again. That's all you have to do. And then the system goes into auto configuration. So it's going to auto configurate the system and it says right now auto configuration in progress.